Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to share with you the one and only feature uh, for February Club Quitabug, and that is the Fruit Basket Bundle. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So the bundle includes the stamp set as well as the coordinating punches to punch out these super cute little fruit images. I love this bundle. And you save 10% when you purchase the bundle in my online Stampin' Up! store. Since this is the only feature of Club Quitabug for the month of February. The kit is going to run from the 1st of the month through the 20th, so all orders placed within that window of time um, will qualify for the free card kit as long as it's $35 minimum purchase. And I'll go over those details um, once we get into the kit, so don't worry about that. But I've got something else that I'm going to announce later in the month, which is why there's only one feature for the month of February. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this kit and let's get stampin'. Okay, so I am so, so, so excited about this one and only feature for February Club Quidabug. I love fruit stamp sets, you guys. I don't know what it is about fruit stamp sets. And I feel like Stampin' Up! only releases one fruit stamp set a year, and that's during the Occasions catalog. And I just love them. Love, love, love them. So I love this fruit basket stamp set. The images are so teeny tiny. They are so cute. And I love these little bitty punches. I'm so glad we have these tiny punches. I remember when I first joined, we had the, I don't know, it was like the teen, the teeny tiny punch pack or something like that. It was a small little set of punches. Love it. Anyways, <laughs> so cute. So um, you will need the fruit basket bundle. Remember when you get the bundle um, in my online store, you actually save 10% when you bundle the um, punches with the stamp set. So it's a really great value. And then remember to be a Club Quitabug member any month, um, it's just any time you place a minimum $35 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. $35 before tax and shipping, you're automatically a Club Quitabug member. It's that easy. You can purchase whatever you want. You don't have to purchase the recommended supplies. It's totally up to you. Spend your money how you'd like to, but as long as you spend $35 before tax and shipping, you'll get the free um, card kit in the mail from me. It's just my little gift to you as a thank you. Um, the ink colors that I'm going to be using are Soft Suede, Real Red, uh, Lemon Lime Twist, Daffodil Delight, light and also memento tuxedo black so when your kit comes in the mail from me it'll look something like this everything will be neatly packaged um, all the supplies that you need to recreate the projects as well as the envelopes just remember no stamped images are included you will need the fruit basket stamp set or whatever stamp set you intend on using there's also a full color PDF at the back that has um, an image of all of the projects as well as the supplies and measurements that I use to create them in case you would like to recreate them yourself in the future uh, you've got all of that information in there so remember $35 minimum purchase before tax and shipping using the host code that I've got here on the screen and you're automatically qualified to receive this card kit in the mail from me. So just don't use that hostess code if your order is $150 or more because when you place an order of that size you also earn Stampin' Rewards which is basically free money to get more product. So you definitely um, want to take advantage of getting those Stampin' Rewards and you will still qualify for the kit even though um, you don't use the hostess code if your order is $150 or greater. Now, I would recommend giving your order just a little bit of a boost from the $35 and bumping it up to $50 so that you can choose one of the amazing celebration items in here. Don't forget, it's celebration. So spend for every $50 that you spend, you can choose a level one freebie. Or if you spend $100, you can choose um, some of the level two freebies that we've got here in this catalog. And I've got a downloadable version of this uh, celebration catalog over on my website if you want to check that out. So don't forget about celebration. And if you give your order one more boost, uh, $75 or more, you'll receive a free package of the adhesive backed Tutti Frutti sequins um, as a gift from me. I'll be shipping these out in the month of March, mid-March, for anyone who um, places an order of $75 or more in my online Stampin' Up! store in February and makes sure to use that hostess code right here on the screen. Okay, so the projects this month, there are five of them. They are awesome, you guys. I love these cards. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, I wanna jump right in because I don't want this video to be an hour long. So I'm just gonna quickly show them to you and we're gonna jump right in and get started. I think you're gonna really enjoy this bundle and these projects. All right, so I've got my supplies here for card number one. Um, 
in the stack for card number one, you're gonna find a piece of Whisper White. Um, it'll be sized somewhat like this. This is your piece for all of the projects um, where you need to stamp your different little fruit images to punch out. So just set that to the side, keep track of that because you'll need it. We won't need it for card number one though. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this die cut circle right here. I'm gonna bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black. And we're going to stamp the fruit bowl and we're also going to stamp the word hello. So I've got both of those images um, ready to go. So I'm just inking that up, twist, twist, tap, tap. And here we go. I'm just going to stamp my little fruit bowl right in the center. And then there's a little piece of peekaboo peach cardstock in there for your hello. So I'll just stamp that. We're going to cut this down a little bit, so I guess it really doesn't matter where you stamp it. But I'm going to stamp it right there. Okay, got my paper snips here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down just a bit. I want it to be a little bit thinner. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room on the right side as well as the left-hand side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my die-cut circle onto this punched piece of pumpkin pie. And I used the, oh gosh, what is that punch called? Starburst punch, that's what it is. I used the Starburst punch for that. And I'll go ahead and add some Fast Fuse, use whatever adhesive you like, um, to the back of my hello. And I'm just going to put this off to the side here. Ah, Let's see if I can keep it straight. I think right about there looks good. Okay, I've got a soft suede card base here. Just going to fold this over crease it and then I'll go ahead and start adding my layers. I love this designer series paper. Isn't that so cute? The papaya and then the black and white stripes or uh, polka dots. I love this designer paper. If you don't have it, this one is definitely worth picking up. So I'll just add that onto my basic black layer here and then I'm going to take that reverse side and I'm going to add this on top across the center. And then you'll definitely want to make sure you have some dimensionals for this kit because dimensionals are on every one of these projects. Well, I'm choosing to use dimensionals on each one. You don't have to if you don't want to, but right about there. And then dimensionals on my sentiment. Three should do it. Right there, so cute. Okay, and the last step is there's a piece of basic black baker's twine. Well, this is um, solid baker's twine. And I'm just tying that in a little bow. Quick, easy, painless. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to just tuck this right off to the side. So just like that, just a cute little something extra. Okay, so I just rolled up, rolled up a glue dot. I don't know if you can see that on there. Just rolled that up and just gonna pop it right there. Stick that bow right in that glue dot. All right, there we go. That finishes up card number one. I'll bring in my original. I love this card, love it. All right, so I've got my supplies for card number two. I do believe this card is my favorite, I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna take out this piece of Whisper White and then you're also gonna need that um, scrap piece that I told you about in the beginning. Um, so I think I will start with, so I've got my Lemon Lamb Twist ink pad here and I'm going to, actually I'm gonna start with this piece. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp the We Make a Great Pair. And ink that up and stamp this at the bottom of this uh, piece of Whisper White. 
Uh, I guess right about here should be good. Give that a press. Alrighty. Now I'll go on to this piece and what I want to do is stamp the little pair. I'm going to stamp that two times. Got something here on my stamp so I'm actually going to stamp it again. I had something on there. Okay, I actually think I like these two. Okay, I'm going to go with these two. Now I'm going to use my soft suede and stamp the top part of my pair. So I'm just going to line that up. Thank goodness for photopolymer stamps because you can see right through and you can get things nicely lined up. That worked out well. Okay. So now I'm going to bring in that cute little pear, the cute little pear punch. Now when you punch this out, um, the way the punch is designed, oh actually I'm glad I have this other one, let me show you. The way it's designed is it's designed to um, stamp a little bit smaller, or to punch a little bit smaller than the stamped image. So you can see I punched out that pear and you can still see some of the stamped image left behind. So it is designed to um, punch a little bit smaller so that you don't have any white outline around the image. So just um, keep that in mind when you're lining it up. So I'm just going to get this lined up how I want it and give it a punch. Okay, there's one. And then I'll line up the second one and do the same thing. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna bring in my Real Red ink pad and that little heart stamp from the set. And I want to put this up sort of above the A. I'm using the A as my guide here, so sort of above the A. I guess right about there I'll stamp it. Okay, that looks good. Then I would definitely recommend adding some of our mini dimensionals to your order because for these little pieces of fruit, you are going to need them. You can always cut down your big dimensionals, but um, this just makes it so much easier. And then you can just put your paper piercer in there and remove the backing. Ah. Just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to position my little pears off to the side of that heart, kind of at an angle, like that, and that's so cute. Oh, I love that. So very cute. I love how that looks. All right, so I've got a lemon lime twist card base here. Fold that over, then I'll go ahead and add this so cute um, Kiwi, where's my fast views? Kiwi um, designer paper onto a piece of real red cardstock, just like that. Then we've got the reverse side of that designer paper and the black and white stripes. And I'm gonna put this sort of like this, kind of towards the bottom of my layers. Now I'm gonna take that piece of Lemon Lemon Twist Mini Striped Ribbon, and I'm just folding it over, just like this. I want it to go on to um, the card like this, because then I'm gonna put my little pears over top. So let's see, I want a little bit poking out. Okay, so just like that, that's how I'm gonna put my ribbon down. Okay, so I've just got a little piece of scotch tape actually. And I've just added it on, just like that. Okay, and dimensionals on the back of both of these layers. Okay, adding this onto the center right about there. And then I'll add my cute little pears on. 
All right, got my backings off of there, and I'll just add this right on here right about there give that a press and there we go that finishes up card number two my favorite bring in my original love it okay card number three so i've got all of my materials so i'm going to need this piece of whisper white and then back to that scratch piece so i've got my real red uh, ink pad sorry i just ate a piece of chocolate while i was getting actually some strawberry chocolate while i was getting my stuff um for this card ready okay all right so I've got um, the strawberry the little strawberry image so on this piece actually I want to start with the word friend let me start with the friend sentiment so I am going to stamp that towards the bottom let me make sure I have this straight towards the bottom oh I guess right about here on this piece friend okay so now I'm going to do um, angled to the right. I'll do one strawberry here. Cute. Then angled to the left. I'll do another strawberry here. Cute. And then I'll stamp one more strawberry here. Okay. And then lemon lime twist for the um, little leaf image for the top of my strawberries. So this actually nests. It's got these two little pointy pieces here. Those actually nest into those little open spaces on your strawberry. So you just want to line that up. Hopefully I don't get my head in the way. I'm going to try my best here to line that up. Okay. Real red and lemon lime twist are so nice together. Uh, I got that one just about perfect. Okay, okay. Strawberry punch. And just do your best to line this up, keeping in mind that it's going to cut a little bit into the inked area because it's designed to do that. Just trying to line it up. I think that's lined up. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. And a mini dimensional on the back of that oh so cute little strawberry. Pull that up. And then I want to place this sort of down and angled off of that second strawberry, just like that. And then I'm just gonna run a little bit, got a little goober there, just gonna run a little bit of Fast Fuse down this right hand side of this layer because I wanna add this little bit of doily on. So I'm just going to line this up how I want it to hang off of the side. There we go. Let's see, how do I want it? I think I want it like that. So I'm just gonna stick that down. And then the little bit that hangs over, I'm just gonna trim off. Just like okay. that. Okay, we've got a real red card base here. And then beautiful strawberries and blueberries on this designer paper. Love that. Love, love, love it. And we'll just add that onto a piece of Knight of Navy uh, cardstock. And then we've got the opposite side. I've got kind of like a little design theme that I'm following on all of these cards. If you hadn't picked up on that yet, I love this. Um, just flip that over and we're gonna add this across the center here. All right, so I've got all of my backings off of my dimensionals and I will just center this up onto the front of the card. Okay, and then take my little strawberry layer and I want this to actually go off to the left. So I'm just lining up the left side of that doily up with the left side of that um, Knight of Navy layer and I'll just stick it down. And there we go. That finishes up card number three. 
Such a cute and sweet little card. Perfect for a friend. And on to card number four. So I'm going to take out this piece of Whisper White and then also bring back my scratch piece. We're going to stamp a cute little pineapple. So I'm going to bring in my Lemon Lime Twist and my Soft Suede. I've got my pineapple pieces here. So for the bottom of my little pineapple, I'm going to use my Soft Suede here. Stamp that right there. Ooh, I do not like how that's stamped. No, thank you. We'll stamp that again, much better. And then the top, Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, so cute. And then for the sentiment, you are the sweetest. I'm just gonna ink that up in Soft Suede. And I wanna stamp that Let's see, let me line this up. I want to stamp that right about here. Perfect. Cute little pineapple punch. Line up that punch and punch this out. I don't know if you can hear that. It's raining outside. I love rainy days. Okay, so we got that all punched out, and then again, a mini dimensional on the back. Ugh, okay, flip that over. Now this one, it is very tiny, so you've really got to center it up on that little pineapple. I hope that didn't go over the edge. Let me see. Uh, it's okay, but it's cutting it close on the pineapple. Okay. So now I'll just add that in the center, right about there. So cute. Oh, I love that. You are the sweetest. All right. Garden green card base. Not a color I use often. So I was excited that it was a featured color in this designer paper because I love venturing out and using colors that I don't think of often. So I've got this super cute pineapple paper. Isn't this paper just precious? So this is Daffodil Delight that I'm laying it on top of. And remember, all of the measurements for these are actually included on the PDF um, that club members receive. Okay, so the reverse side of the designer paper, it's got some soft, uh, soft suede stripes on there. So I'm gonna center this up, but I'm gonna center it vertically this time. So still kind of following that same layout um, theme for the other cards, but I'm just changing the orientation of that piece. Then we've got some linen thread included in the kit for this card. So I just kind of took the kinks out of that and then I'm gonna add a little bit of fast views. I want this linen thread to go across the center of the card, so I'm just gonna add it there into that little bit of adhesive, and I'm gonna wrap it around two times, like so. Snip off the rest, same situation here, dimensionals on the back, whoops. Got my backings off of these layers, so we'll go ahead and we'll add this one to the center, right about there. Then we'll add this on the center of our striped piece. So right about there. And then with the remaining piece of twine, I am just going to slip it under these two pieces and tie it um, off to the side in a bow. And there we go. Card number four complete. I'll just bring in my original. You are the sweetest. All right, so I've got my pieces here for card number five. We're just about finished. So I'm gonna take out um, this piece um, that I punched out using the uh, Pretty Label Punch and then also our scrap piece here. And what I wanna do 
So I'm going to start with my Memento Tuxedo Black. And I've got the stamp that says, Happy Birthday to You, and I've got some washi tape. So I want this to stamp in two rows instead of one long row in order to fit on here. So I'm going to take some washi and I'm going to cover up the to you and just leave the happy birthday showing. You could also, if you have the basic black stamp and write marker, you could, you could use that instead. But I'm going to do it this way and I'm just going to work to only ink up the happy birthday. I don't want to get ink on that piece of washi tape. Make sure I didn't. Looks like I did that off. Put another little piece on. And I'm covering this up because I have stamped this full image before and I don't want any ink to accidentally still be on there and get um, and stamp like a little bit of ghosting on there. That's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp the happy birthday in the center. Sorry if you hear some beeping. Someone just came in downstairs in the front door. Okay, so I've got the happy birthday. So I'm gonna take off my washi and then I'm gonna cover up the happy birthday. I was trying to film this video before anybody got home. Ho hum. All right, so now the to you. Make sure I don't have any ink on there. Okay. And then, yeah, you totally could use your stamp and write marker, but that's okay. Stamp that right under to you. All right, I did a good job. All righty. Okay, so you might want to grab some scratch paper for the next part. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring in my Daffodil Delight going to stamp some lemons. So I'm going to stamp the rind of the lemon here. I'm going to stamp that full strength. So I'll just throw one right here. I'll do one kind of going off the edge there. And then I'll do one right about here. Okay. And then on my other piece, let me go ahead and get one right here as well because we're going to punch one out. Okay, then I've got the other part, the second layer. I'm going to stamp that off because I want a little lighter shade for the inside flesh of that lemon. There we go. Stamp off. Just get all of these done. Stamp off. One more. Okay. Alrighty, get out that little wedge punch here. And we will just line that up. Punch it out. And a mini dimensional on the back. that little lemon. Okay. And I'm just going to pop this on sort of at an angle like that, covering part of that other little lemon. Alrighty. Daffodil Delight card base here. Just going to fold this over, give it a nice crease. There we go. Then we've got a piece of basic black cardstock and then some more of that designer paper. This has got lemons, limes, what looks like grapefruit, maybe some orange slices. Love that and we'll center this up on the basic black. Okay, and then the reverse side of that designer paper. And I'm just going to put this and line it up with the bottom. Right about there, that looks good. Flip it over, add some fast fuse, and then we've got some 
Lemon Lime Twist Ribbon. This is the finely woven. And I'm just gonna cover up that little area where we um, put that reverse side on. Then I'm going to add a little fast fuse on here. And I want to put this little die cut piece of vellum on right about there. That's cute. And then of course, dimensionals on the back. Centered right there. And then we'll pop this right here in the middle, right there. And there we go. The last and final card complete. So fun. Love these projects. All right, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed each of these five super cute and fun projects featured in my February Club Quidabug free card kit, the fruit basket bundle with the cute little punches. I hope that you've enjoyed this, this free kit, you guys. And don't forget to receive your free card kit in the mail from me. All you have to do is place a minimum $35 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. That's $35 before tax and shipping. Be sure to use the hostess code right here as long as your order is less than $150. If your order is larger than that, do not use the host code so that you can still earn your Stampin' rewards. And don't worry, you will still receive this free card kit in the mail from me. This kit is available for all orders placed between February 1st, 2018 and February 20th, 2018. So after February 20th, the kit is no longer available. And don't forget, uh, you might wanna upgrade your order to $50 so that you can, in addition to receiving your free card kit from me, you can choose a free celebration item. And if you bump it up just a little bit more to $75, you can receive the free card kit, choose a free celebration item, plus you will receive this as a free gift um, from me, the Tutti Fruity Adhesive Back Sequins. These will be coming direct from me to you um, mid-March. So thank you guys again. If you have any questions about Club Quidabug, feel free to reach out. I always look forward to hearing from you anyways. So thanks again, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.